Welcome to Electron Line. When you take a look at these fractions, you will notice that the denominator of the largest one is a multiple of the denominator of the smaller ones. Here, 10 is a multiple of 5, 12 is a multiple of 3, and 30 is a multiple of both 15 and 5. And so the lowest common denominator in each of these cases simply will become the largest denominator, which means we need to then change the other fractions so that they will have the same lowest common denominator. That means that the first fraction can be written as follows. And of course, the second fraction will not change. What we're going to do here is multiply the denominator times 2 to make it equal to the denominator of the other fraction. But of course, when we multiply the denominator times 2, we must also multiply the numerator times 2. What we're trying to do here is make sure that the denominators are equal in size. That means the left fraction now can be written as 4 divided by 10, we add that to the other fraction, which is unchanged. Now that they have the same common denominator, we can simply add the numerators, and this becomes 7 divided by 10. Let's do it again on the second exercise. Again, notice that the largest denominator is a multiple of the smaller denominator, which means that we can write the smaller denom denominator in such a way that the denominators will become the same. The question is, what do I need to multiply 3 by to get 12? The answer is, multiply the times 4. 3 times 4 is 12, but of course, if I do that to the denominator, I must do exactly the same to the numerator. The other fraction remains unchanged, because the denominator is already the lowest common denominator. Now we get 2 times 4, which is 8 over 12, plus 5 over 12, which is 13 over 12. In the third exercise, notice we have three fractions but the denominator of the third fraction is a multiple of the denominators of the other two fractions, which means we're going to have to change the first two fractions and add it to the third fraction, which will be unchanged. How do we change the first two fractions? Again, we ask ourselves a question, how many times does 5 fit into 30, or how many, what do I need to multiply 5 by to make it equal to 30? The answer is 5 times 6 is 30, which means I'm going to multiply the denominator times 6, and of course I must also multiply the numerator times 6. 15 goes into 30 exactly twice, so I have to multiply 15 times 2 to make it into 30, and of course I must multiply the numerator by the same number. Now I can write the three fractions as follows. This becomes 6 over 30 plus 4 over 30 plus 7 over 30. Notice all we have to do here is simply make all the denominators the same and multiply the numerators. Now we simply add the numerators together because all the denominators are the same, and this becomes 17 over 30. And that's how we change the denominators so they can all be the same. Again, if the, if the largest of the denominators is a multiple of all the other denominators, we can simply use that as the lowest common denominator. And that's how it's done.